satu additional exercise Satu uh, A dia tanya Start work energy theorem uh, Work equal to the change of kinetic energy Ataupun kita boleh cakap The network done by the force of an object Equal to change in its kinetic energy Untuk soalan B Roman 1 Dia, dia tanya the change in kinetic energy Dia dah bagi mass Initial velocity, acceleration and time Tapi dia tak bagi final velocity Jadi kita guna equation V equal to U plus 80 Kita masukkan lepas tu kita dapat 40 meter per second Lepas tu kita guna formula yang ni Kita masukkan je Lepas tu kita dapat 1.4 times exponent to the power of 6 joule Untuk soalan Roman 2 kita, Dia tanya power of the car Daripada maklumat yang kita dah dapat dari Roman 1 tadi kita masukkan je lepas tu kita dapat 1.44 exponent to the power of 5 j untuk soalan C kita lukis free body diagram dulu lepas tu dia ada bagi mass dia ada bagi frictional force dengan dia ada bagi displacement lepas tu melalui untuk x axis ni kita cos sebab angle dia ni antara antara x axis dengan force lah sebab tu dia cos jadi yang sebelah sini kita tolak yang sebelah sini iaitu kita dapat uh, f cos 47 tolak friction of force kita dapat 66.4 n lepas tu untuk work work ke formula dia f time by displacement masukkan di nilai tadi lepas tu kita dapat 3320 that's all from me thank you Assalamualaikum and hi so uh, this video kita akan bincang about additional questions chapter 5 uh, chapter 5 uh, soalan nombor 2 ok so 2A dia cakap step two factors that contribute the potential energy of an object ok so 2A uh, daripada definition pun kita boleh tahu dia punya factors sebab definition of potential energy is uh, the energy stored in an object due to its positions, state of state or shape ok so uh, my answer is position and state of shape uh, step, untuk state of shape ni uh, dia untuk uh, elastic potential energy meanwhile position is for gravitational uh, potential energy ok so untuk soalan 2B pula dia cakap a 60 gram object is dropped from the height of 2 meter uh, after striking the flow the object rebound vertically outwards and losing 25% of its initial energy during its first rebound Calculate first. Dia suruh calculate the initial velocity of the object. Initial velocity of the object. Okay, kalau kita tengok ambil gambar ni kan. Dia kata first, uh, 60 gram object tu dia drop uh, from a height 2 meter. So, H dia 2 meter. And after dia sampai kat flow tu, dia rebound balik vertically outwards and menyebabkan dia losing 25% of initial energy. Okay, so soalan dia cakap uh, dia suruh cari initial velocity so initial velocity ni bersamaan dengan um, mgh sebab apa tau sebab mgh sebab first sebab dia kata tengok ni sebab objek tu dia drop so meaning uh, dia menggunakan gravitational potential energy gravitational potential energy ni formula dia uh, ug sama dengan mgh so sebab tu lah kita masukkan uh, initial uh, apa ni initial Energi bersamaan mgh Lepas tu Tapi kita ada uh, rebound kan Means kita memerlukan kinetic energy juga So uh, disebabkan tu lah um, Tengok lah eh, Sebab dia kata losing 25 of uh, initial energy Means kita ada baki 75% of potential energy uh, 75% ni dia macam Dia tukar daripada potential energy Dia bertukar menjadi kinetic energy sebab dia rebound balik and so disebabkan itulah kita cari the rapat formula carry rebound so 75 per 100 darab initial energy 
So kinetic energy ni dia punya formula bersamaan dengan 1 per 2 mv square. So masukkan balik uh, formula uh, uh, kinetic energy dengan inertial energy, inertial energy mgh tu. Lepas tu bila dah masuk kita boleh tengok satu uh, kita boleh tengok uh, sebelah dua-dua dua belah equation ada m. So kita boleh cancel out. Lepas tu uh, masuklah eh, 1 per 2 v square sama dengan 7.5 per 100 uh, G sama dengan 9.81 And H sama dengan 2 meter So bila dah kira kita akan dapat total uh, Kita akan dapat uh, Jawapan V sama dengan uh, v, point, uh, v sama dengan 5.42 MS Negatif 1 okay, So kalau kita boleh tengok dekat soalan B2 pula Dia cakap uh, Dia cakap uh, Maximum high of the uh, object so dia kata ignore the air resistance Oh dia nak suruh cari maximum height kan So maximum height ni maksudnya V sama dengan kosong sebab apa tu Sebab uh, means all that K change to U Maksudnya kinetic energy tu dia su semua kinetic energy yang tadi berubah kepada potential energy So dia kata tu that's why kita boleh guna formula Kinetic energy bersamaan dengan potential energy So Masukkanlah 1 per 2 mv square sama dengan mgh h to maximum. So kita boleh cancel out m dua dua belah and jadilah uh, one uh, half one one over two uh, v tadi kita boleh masukkan kita ambil yang kita cari tadi awal awal tadi initial tu uh, velocity kita masukkan 5.42 square. Lepas tu G sama dengan 9.81 and h max. Lepas tu bila kita kira semua kita akan dapat h max sama dengan uh, 1.50 meter so that's it thank you hello hari ni saya nak terangkan soalan additional exercise question 3 soalan minta calculate the energy stored in the spring so kita guna formula ni formula elastic potential energy Tapi kita tak tahu nilai K ni So kita nak kena cari K dulu Cari K guna Hood's Law ni F sama dengan KX Lepas tu masukkan nilai ni Nilai ni daripada soalan Lepas tu dah dapat uh, nilai K Bila dah dapat nilai K Masukkan nilai K ni dekat equation um, Elastic potential energy tadi Lepas tu dah dapat jawapan Tukarkan dia punya unit kepada joule Soalan 2 dia tanya Based on the work energy theorem Why does the ball maintain a constant horizontal velocity After being released uh, Jawapan dia Because the total amount of energy in a system Remains constant with each transformation Ok soalan 3 ni dia minta Calculate this ball speed at the highest point of the track Highest point of the track tu dekat sini um, Lepas tu uh, kita guna conservation of energy um, Energy initial dia dekat sini Energy final dia dekat sini Energy initial dia tu kan kat spring So dia elastic potential energy Dekat energy final ni Dia ada gravitational potential energy dengan kinetic Sebab even dia dekat highest point pun dia still bergerak So dia ada kinetic energy So uh, masukkan formula dia ni Kita dapat equation dia Ini Dah dapat equation ni masukkan je nilai-nilai tu uh, Then uh, dapatlah V Terima kasih Hello everyone Today I'm going to discuss question 4 for additional exercise. So for for part A, they said to explain why is the work done of the book which is lifted up with a constant velocity is equals to zero. So in this case, work is equals to uh, force uh, multiplied with displacement. So we need to calculate the force first. So the force e force is equals to mass over acceleration. So if the object is moving in constant velocity, it means the acceleration is zero. So if you multiply with zero multiply with mass, it also becomes zero. So so if you put in the the formula for work is 
first times displacement so 0 times uh, displacement is still 0 so therefore the work done by the book which is lifted up in a constant speed is 0 for part 2 they are asked to prove that uh, power is equals to force multiplied with velocity so power is equals to work divided by time so therefore if we change it in this way which is delta delta w over delta t and we expand uh, work which is equals to force times displacement we would get f uh, times uh, delta displacement over delta time which also equals to velocity so therefore it is proven so for question b they asked to calculate the force exerted on the lift motor so if you could see the force is going up upwards from the uh, object which weighs 650 kilograms and the force acting downward is uh, weight so so this is the formula so f minus w equals to uh, ma so to find acceleration we use this formula so in this case uh, v is 1.75 uh, meter per second and u is 0 therefore if you divide it by 3 you would get 0 0.58 ms negative 2 so for this part you just substitute it with this and you will so you take mass you times with the acceleration you will get 379 and w is equals to mg which uh, this is the mass and this is the ex uh, gravitational acceleration so if you bring this to the other side you will get force equals to 6755.5 newton okay so the next question they asked to determine the instantaneous power so to find power power is equals to force over velocity so you take the force and times it with the velocity from before which is 1.75 meter per second and if you times if you times this you will get the power but they are asking in horsepower so you divide it by 746 and therefore you get 15.84 horsepower that's all today thank you hello everyone this is the explanation video for additional exercise question 5 untuk soalan A1 soalan minta untuk lukis force that act on the object so this is the force that act on the object untuk soalan A2 soalan minta untuk saya rate work done of friction force so ini adalah formula untuk rate work done of friction force so untuk carinya kita kena cari frictional force dia dulu so kita guna uh, newton force law so dalam sini force yang ada dalam x axis ni ialah force wy dengan uh, frictional force so total force yang ada dekat sini adalah f WY dengan frictional force sebabkan frictional force tu arah dia ke belakang so kita kena letak tolak dekat sini then kita pindahkan uh, FY FWY tu kat sebelah kanan then FWY tu sama dengan MJ sin 20 so kita masukkan nilai semua nilai itu dalam sini dan kita dapat jawapan selepas kita dapat frictional force tu kita bolehlah masukkan nilai itu tadi dekat dalam formula ni so lepas masukkan kita akan dapat negatif 13.1 watt sebabkan so, watt ni kita tak ada negatif so kita buang negatif dan jawapan dia 13.1 je so 180 darjah ni ada sebab sudut di antara force dengan friction force adalah 180 darjah 180 darjah so kita guna 180 so kita guna force 180 
untuk soalan 5B soalan minta uh, velocity uh, bola ni apabila dia ada dekat the lowest so untuk cari velocity kita guna principle of conservation of energy so ini formula dia dan, dan kita masukkan mdh equal to 1 over 2 m square So untuk cari H kita kena tolak H initial dengan H final. So untuk untuk kita cari H dekat sini bila H, H initial dengan H final ditolakkan so sini adalah uh, H dia. Untuk cari H ni kita kena cari A dan kita kena tolak dengan panjang tali dia. So kita guna 2.2 cos 50 dan jawab, kita dapat jawapan 1.4141 untuk A dan kita nak cari H ni je tadi kan so kita tolak, so kita tolak 2.2 tolak dengan 1.4141 so ini adalah H dia so kita masukkan lah H tu tadi dalam uh, equation ni dan kita dapat V so V dia 3.93 MS nanti kuat Assalamualaikum dan selamat pagi. Saya nak menunjukkan cara menjawab soalan tambahan fizik nombor 6, chapter 5. Okay, soalan 6 diberi graf force against compression. Figure 5.5 shows the variation between the applied force and compression of a spring. When the spring is compressed 0.20 m, calculate the work done on the spring, the potential energy of the spring. Untuk cari work done on the spring, kita boleh buat area under the graph. So, W sama dengan 1 per 2 darab dengan 0.20 tolak 0 darab dengan 8 tolak 0. Jadi, kita dapat 0.80 Joule. Untuk nombor 2, the potential energy of the spring. Formula potential energy ni ialah U sama dengan 1 per 2 KX kuasa 2. Tapi, kita tak tahu nilai K. Jadi, kita nak, nak cari nilai K, kita guna formula F sama dengan KX jadi, kita masukkan nilai F sama dengan 8 daripada graf ni. Lepas tu, uh, nilai X pula kita ambil daripada compression. Kita ambil 0.20. Kita dapat K sama dengan 40. Lepas tu, kita masukkan nilai tadi ke dalam uh, formula potential energy. Jadi, U sama dengan 1 per 2 darab dengan K 40. Dan darab dengan X kuasa 2 iaitu 0.20 kuasa 2. Kita dapat uh, nilai potensi energi dia 0.80 Joule. Okay, itu je. Sekian, okay, terima kasih. Okay, untuk video kali ni kita akan bincangkan additional exercise question 7. Define power. Power is defined as a rate of work done on the system ataupun rate of energy transfer. Dan soalan kedua, a jet engine develop a horizontal thrust of 30 kN if the jet is flying at a of 30 at of 300 m/s. Sorry. Calculate the house power develop. So kita keluarkan nilai yang diberi and then kita cuba untuk derive formula power iaitu dw over dt and then kita akan dapat fv so kita masukkan je nilai yang diberi kita akan dapat jawapan 9 kuat darab 10 kuasa 6 watt and then dalam soalan dia beritahu dia nak dalam horsepower develop so kita bagikan 9 darab 10 kuasa 6 dengan 746 watt and then kita akan dapat 16,064.34 horsepower So kita akan teruskan kepada soalan B A sphere of mass 4 kg initially at rest light along the along a smooth and curvy surface as shown in figure Calculate Yang pertama dia minta potential energy of the sphere at point A Di mana kat point A ni kinetic energy tak ada cuma ada potential energy Dan kita tahu potential Potential energy yang kita pakai kat point A ni ialah gravitational. So, 
MGH kan kita tahu so kita keluar uh, diberi nilai mass dia ialah 4 kilo 4 kilogram and then gravity dia mengikut arah gravity 9.81 dan ketinggian untuk point A ialah 40 dan dapat jawapan dia ialah 1569.6 joule so untuk soalan kedua dia minta the speed of the sphere as it passes point B so kita keluarkan nilai ada tadi mass dia ialah 4 kg height untuk A 40 height untuk B ialah 20 and then sebabkan dia lalu point B kinetic energy akan muncul and then potential energy akan mengurang so kita pakai conservation of energy so di mana energy A bersama dengan energy B macam kita beritahu tadi uh, potential energy akan berkurang so ada nilai ada value untuk potential energy dan kinetic energy akan muncul so diminta ialah speed di mana untuk energy A kita dah tahu berapa tadi and then masukkan je nilai yang kita dapat untuk mgh b ni dengan 1 over 2 mv square and then kita cuba derive dan kita akan dapat speed of the sphere is 19.81 meter per second so that's it Assalamualaikum and hi now I want to discuss how to solve question 8 for additional question chapter 5 so the question the mass of a carbon atom model is 20 gram A. Calculate the kinetic energy when it is moving with a speed of 2 mm per second. So, first analysis what the information given. So, kita ada mass which is 20 gram. Make sure to call kepada SI unit. So, M equal to 20 times of 10 power of negative 3 kg and V 2 m per second. So, kita nak cek kinetic energy which is K. Formula K is 1 over 2 mv square. So, kita dah ada M, kita dah ada V, kita just substitute je nilai ni. Masukkan dalam formula and then kita dapat K equal to 0 0.04 joule. Make sure answer mesti ada unit. So, for question B, two carbon atom models are joined by a spring. The energy of the spring is equal to the kinetic energy in part A. If the spring is stretched 10 mm, calculate the spring constant. So, analysis the information given. So, kita ada 10 mm which is x but make sure to call kepada SI unit. So, kita akan dapat 10 times 10 power of negative 3 m. So, keyword dekat sini dia adalah energy of the spring is equal to the kinetic energy. So, ux which is elastic potential energy sama dengan k. So, formula for ux is 1 over 2 kx square equal to k. But k dalam formula ni tak sama dengan k yang ni ya. So k ni untuk kinetic energy, k ni adalah spring constant which is value yang kita nak cari. So substitute dia ni nilai yang kita dah ada which is x dan k yang ni kita dah dapat pada part A which is 0.04. So kita substitute nilai, kita rearrange dapatlah k equal to 800 newton per meter. Make sure jawapan kena ada unit and make sure juga take note square ni ya. Thank you. Hai, Assalamualaikum. So, hari ni kita akan bincang soalan 9 A dan B daripada Additional Exercise Physics Chapter 5 Work and Energy. So, question A, 1. Define work done. Bila soalan tanya pasal apa maksud work done, we should remember this formula which is F stands for force and S stands for displacement okay so work done is defined as the product of the component of the force parallel to the displacement times the displacement of a body next question A2 figure 5.7 shows a graph of resultant force F against displacement of an 8 kg trolley determine the total work done on the trolley okay bila dia bagi dalam graph the answer must be area under the graph so 
untuk kiri area under the craft kita kena sketch dulu square tu supaya senang 31 and 3 ok square formula of square is H H times length ok so work done is 31 times 3 so, equals to 93 with joule unit and this is the final answer for this question next question 9b 1 state the principle of conservation of energy Principle of conservation of energy states that in an isolated system, the total energy of that system is constant or conserved. Next, question B2. Figure 5.8 shows a particle moving down a curved track with speed u at height 3 meters. Upon leaving the track, the particle travels straight up and reaches a maximum height 4 meters. By ignoring friction and air resistance, determine the speed u. Untuk soalan ni, kita akan guna formula daripada prinsip of conservation of energy, ok? Iaitu, total of initial energy adalah sama dengan total of final energy. Formula dia, 1 per 2 mv kuasa 2 tambah mgh sama dengan 1 per 2 mv kuasa 2 tambah mgh. Tapi, Disebabkan jisim partikel ni kita tak tahu Kita tak tahu so Kita boleh cancel it Okay Kita boleh buat equation this Yang baru Okay Masukkan nilai dia 1 per 2 U kuasa 2 tambah 9.81 darab ketinggian dia 3 sama dengan 1 per 2 kosong kuasa 2 tambah 9.81 kali 4 ok 1 per 2 U kuasa 2 tambah 29.43 potong 39.24 U sama dengan punca kuasa 29.81 and the final answer will be 4.4 meter per second Assalamualaikum, saya Nur Hafiza akan terangkan additional exercise chapter 5, question 10. So, question 10A. Give one difference between kinetic energy and potential energy. So, the answer is kinetic energy is the energy of motion and potential energy is an object energy due to its position or shape. Or shape. Okay. Kemudian 10B, dia punya question, a 2 kg stone is dropped from the top of a 10 meter high building. By using the principle of conservation of energy, calculate kinetic energy of the stone when it is at a point 4 meter above the ground. So, kita tahu, okay, waktu initial height stone tu, Okay, dia berada 10 meter okay, above the ground dan waktu final height dia adalah 4 meter above the ground. So, kita tahu kita kena cari uh, dia punya energy waktu initial. Okay, dia punya initial velocity adalah 0 meter per second. Jadi, kinetic energy dia adalah 0. Manakala dia ada gravitational potential energy waktu initial ni sebab dia ada Height kan okay. Kemudian untuk final Energi yang terdapat waktu final adalah Dia ada kinetic uh, Energy dan juga Dia ada gravitational uh, Potential energy okay. So Dia nak cari uh, kinetic uh, Energy untuk final So kita apply the conservation Of energy di mana 
total initial energy is equal to total final energy. So kita substitute kan. Okay, substitute kan formula macam biasa dan kita akhirnya akan dapat kinetic energy final sama dengan 117.72 joule. So itu saja daripada saya. Terima kasih. One, this is our question for today. A 10 joule of work is needed to stretch an elastic spring by 2 cm. Calculate work required to further extend the spring to 5 cm. First, we need to list down the informations that we have from the question. The informations that we have are W1, which is the first work equal to 10 joule. We also have two values of x, the amount of string stretch which are x1 equal to 0 0.02 meter and x2 equal to 0 0.05 meter remember to convert the unit from centimeter to meter by using the informations that we have we can use this formula to find the value of k substitute the value uh, information that we have then we will be able to find the value of k equal to 50,000 since we now have the value of k we will be able to find the value of the second work by using the same formula and then substitute the values and then we will get the second work is 62.5 joule but the question asks us to find the work required to further extend the spring to 5.0 cm so we have to subtract the, the value of the second work to the value of the first work and then by subtracting that, we will have the answer 52.5 Joule. Okay, selamat sejahtera. Untuk soalan additional question, soalan 12, dia tanya, A motorcycle overtakes a slow moving lorry by speeding up from 16 velocity to 18 velocity in 2 seconds. If the total mass of the rider and motorcycles is 150 kg, calculate the required power. So, first of all, kita kenalah senaraikan dia punya segala information yang dibagi which is U dia adalah 16 meter second and then velocity dia adalah uh, 18 uh, apa tu, ms negative 1 and the punya mass adalah 150 kg and the punya time adalah 2 seconds so first of all before kita nak cari dia punya required power kita kena cari kita kena cari dulu dia punya work so kita akan gunakan uh, formula ni lah uh, W equals to delta K K ni equals to kinetic energy so kita gunakan uh, kita gunakan formula 1 over 2 mv2 mv power of 2 and uh, tolak dengan 1 per 2 MU kuasa 2 so kita masukkanlah segala information yang kita dah senaraikan ni ikut dia punya dia punya component and then uh, kita dah kira kita dah dapat jawapan untuk uh, work so untuk nak dapatkan required power kita kena gunakan uh, formula ni which is uh, delta work uh, bahagi dengan masa so 5100 bahagi dengan 2 akan dapat jawapan 2550 Y sebab apa kita guna kita guna formula ni, ni sebab uh, apa tu sebab um, sebab lori dengan uh, motor ni dia bergerak ok sebab lori dengan motor tu bergerak so itulah dia terima kasih